What's up guys, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts here at Orlando Cation. Hamcation, take a look around me. We're in here before the place opens. I want to show you something cool real quick. So I stopped by, of course. My buddy's here at Giga Parts. I always have to stop by and check out their stuff and they got this cool, the Yesu Giga Parts van. A little transit, look at this thing. Pretty fun stuff. It's got, it's got antennas on it. I think that's the ATAS 120. It's got the fusion radios and the 891 in there. Pretty neat stuff. Let's see what the license plate says. What's up, Justin? Hey, how you guys doing? My buddy Justin. I met him the last couple of times. He's, we go way back. He's a good guy. And uh, Giga Parts has something here that I was checking out, and I've never seen this until now. I guess this is a... You got something to tell me on this, Justin? It is a fully customizable uh, HF clock, uh, programmable. There's a Raspberry Pi version that you see plugged into this monitor. It does full 1080p uh, video out. So you can hook it up to any TV in your house or any monitor in your station. And then we have these two pretty guys here. Those are awesome cool. looking. Yeah, aren't they neat? That looks a lot better than my MFJ clock, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real clock. <laughs> yeah, it looks really nice. We're, we're happy to bring that on board, and I think that uh, we're really bringing something to the community that no one else no one else has right now. Yeah, and, and uh, wow, the serious HF guy wants to have this clock on his desk. What are the prices looking like? So this is the Pi one that you can hook up to a monitor or the wooden outframe ones? That is correct. Right, okay. And the smaller ones uh, that are in the frame are touch screen. Oh, nice. So you can interact with it that way as opposed to the Raspberry Pi version that, that uh, can work with a uh, wireless mouse or, or a corded mouse, whatever works best for your personal configuration. Right, cool. And Gigaparts always has a contest here. Now they're giving away a 9700, so I got to enter on one of the computers that are sitting here. When are you giving that away? Soonish. <laughs> Soon <laughs> and then I'll have to check this out later. This is the DV Megacast. You're going to see something on this soon. This is pretty neat. DV Megacast. So, you know, you got your hotspots, you got your DV Megas, you got your, you know, Raspberry Pis. But check it out. This is like a whole in self contained, all in one desktop DV Mega internet gateway radio. So you can talk on. What's that? Oh. What is it? This is the DV30 that has just come out to complement that. There's an internal USB uh, port inside of that. And this uh, basically converts the DV cast to your own server that when you download uh, the DV Blue app allows you to remote access all digital modes through your smartphone. Really? Any anywhere in the world. Wow. Interesting. Who's this? Van Doren. Hey, how you doing? Want to be on camera? Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> Your name? I'm Root. Root. I try not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you having something you want to tell us on YouTube about the DV Megacast? Oh yeah, of course. Preview here on YouTube at the Orlando Hamcation 2019. So this is the DV Megacast. It's an uh, IP radio. So that means that uh, you do not uh, connect via RF to a repeater or a hotspot, but direct uh, via internet. No handheld needed. No handheld needed. Right. You talk direct into the microphone. And um, it's uh, compatible with uh, all the reflector systems with the modes that are built in. Fusion, D Star, DMR? Exactly. P25? P25, not yet. NXDN? Not yet. Okay. In so, the works? Maybe? Uh, we don't know, but we, we went for know. the three most important, right. uh, most used. Well, I know I'll have a lot modes. of questions of people that want to know. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, D-Star, Fusion, DMR, the three most popular, right? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. most popular yep. modes, and uh -huh. uh, all the the networks, Brandmeister, DMR Plus. Right. Okay. Very cool. What's the price point on this? It's uh, today four hundred twenty nine dollars, uh, but we are sold out. Right, yesterday, sold out already, yeah. The first day already. You know, the thing is, what what I can see, let me turn this around here, the thing what I'm thinking is, for the people that want to know, okay, so I get a, a handheld, if you think about the price of a D-Star handheld, a DMR handheld, a Fusion handheld, and then the hotspot, you're in over a thousand dollars, you can get something like this and have them all on your desk. No need to worry about how far your handheld is going to go if you're sitting at the desk. You can grab the mic, talk right into it, goes right through the internet. You don't have to have a radio. 
that's about the goal of the story, right? That's the that's the story. Exactly. And you can monitor three modes at the same time. Wow. So okay. there is a sort of uh, hang timer, and uh, if the hang timer elapses, it starts watching all three networks that you uh, connect you, that you are connected to. Right. And uh, when there is a call coming in one of the networks. It hangs on that network, right? And then it hangs as long as the the hang timer is is running. Uh, it, it it's resets by an incoming uh, conversation or by a PTT press. Now, is this like a your own software running on there? Is it like a Pi Star or how is the soft? Is it a proprietary software on there? Yes, there are two pieces of software. One is. Uh, the, the, the software where the unit runs on, it's, uh, it's uh, our own software which runs on STM32 and uh, the host software is on a NanoPi um, MDVM host, so uh, okay. uh, uh, capsule by PiStar. Right. And on the stair is, yeah, so you, okay. So you could use the microphone to change everything on the radio. If you want to change the talk group right now, we're on 204. If you wanted to change it, you know, a couple button pushes and you can see on the screen, Dial it in, enter, change mode, D star, DMR, do the volume. Yep, do everything from there. So if you are uh, not wanting to use the touch screen, a lot of people may have a problem with touch screen, but you could do it all from the buttons on the microphone right there. All right, and Rude, yes. what can you tell us about um, this here? Uh, in, in your aspect as far as uh, updating and some other features that you wanted to explain? Well, you know, there's, there's a lot of features that we added since uh, the last time we were here at Orlando. And one of the items is that yeah. now it's possible yeah. to use this DV Megacast as um, a radio hotspot. Mm -hmm. So looking at, for example, these nice devices, mm -hmm. you could take a radio board like this and on the back of the radio there's a pre-defined uh, hole that you can break out. You mount the board inside, and then from the web interface, you can switch between the radio mode with a microphone, or you could actually, you know, switch it to hotspot and go on with the conversation with your portable radio. Oh wow! So this, oh okay. So, so if you wanted to, if you didn't want to sit at the desk with this and you wanted to turn it into a hotspot, take your handheld and walk in around the yard, you could do that too. Exactly. Very good. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's with the upgrade of the DV Mega board. Perfect. So it, now it's a dual function. Actually, it's got a triple function. Triple function. Okay, yeah. what's that? The triple function is we got a DV stick 30 here, which is an MB stick. In here is an MB 3000 chip, the same as we use on the main board in here. On the inside of the radio is an internal USB slot, mm -hmm. and in there you could actually plug in this module. What happens is that it's also an MB server at that moment. So with port forwarding, you could make this device available to the internet for your own purpose. So you're saying you could you could access that from any, anywhere with a... Yeah. Okay. There is an app, let me open it up. There is an app called BlueDV Ambi, which is available on Android. I remember that from the BlueStack. Exactly. Right, but okay. This is, this is a special version with Ambi. Okay. In here you got a setup, and if you go into setup, you can just scroll down, and here you see Ambi server IP address. Okay. If you enter your public IP address there and you do a port forwarding in your router to 2460 to go to this device, you can go on holiday, leave this device powered on at home, and with this app you can do DMR and D-Star wherever you are, as long as you got internet with your phone. Uh -huh. So what happens is my audio over here is transferred to the device at home, right. and over there the Ambi chip will code it and it goes to the internet to the Brandmeister or the DMR Plus server or right. the reflectors. Wow, okay, so now it's a triple function it's device. A triple <laughs> function device, yes. Very neat stuff. Yeah. So, BlueDV is an app that a lot of people use, so this is actually quite easy to use. This, this is probably a lot more updated than the original app I used a couple years ago with the BlueStack. It's actually, it's actually the same app but compiled in a different way. So, right. there are like two apps in, hold the, in the app store. So this is the Ambi version. Okay. If you go in the Play Store, you get Blue DV and Blue DV Ambi. Okay. It's only available on Android, by the way. Apple, that was a bit of a pain to get it in there. It always is with Apple. Oh and yeah, yeah. Uh, Unfortunately for the people, there. Apple doesn't want us to play with ham radio stuff. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's about this. Um, what do you think about updates? How often do you release updates with this? How how uh, 
easier the updates or you know for the person that's never done yeah. something like this before you guys regularly fix bugs and updates and exactly. release new features yeah we got a we got a website where people can uh, do a bug tracking uh, they can see what's going on what are new features feature requests from that website we create updates and um, because people register this device with the serial number on the back mm -hmm. and only their email address they will get an update of the firmware in their mailbox personally every time we release it so wow. you do not need to have a checkup on the yeah. website as soon as you receive the the update you just go in in the administration menu of this pi star and you open it up with pi minus star and the password is raspberry unless same as a regular raspberry hotspot exactly uh, right. unless somebody changes, changes it. it right it's a bit slow to pc scanning something <laughs> uh, so now we're in the administration menu and if i go into the banner in the top and i put fw there for firmware right you get a firmware update page as you can see it's like three different sections the file that you get in the email is the cast mainboard and you just select the file i will i will show a piece of the procedure um, I will go in here and I will just select my file that I have, for example this. This is actually not the file for this radio, but it's just a show. Then I will say upload the firmware. And you get a page saying, okay, if you want to run the upgrade, push in the volume knob. So that's the button in the front. So I push it in, I keep it pushed, and then I click run upgrade. Then after some time the update is running, the light in the speaker will dim, there is no light and you can release the button. Once this update has finished, it will reboot itself and you're up and running with the new firmware. That is so easy. Yeah, because, you know, there's a lot of people that are not really happy with command line stuff. Right. And we decided we needed to make it more um, accessible for people. And yes, I, I've had lots of comments on previous videos when I talk about updating, you know, the original DV Mega boards and stuff, you had to solder a jumper, then do this and do that. It yes. seems that this is pretty straightforward. This do. is a straightforward yeah. procedure. And, and, the same, and the same is for the display. So if you have the display in, in front here, you could actually upload a new display file. So the firmware for this box is split in two. Right. There's a mainboard firmware and there is a firmware for the display. Now, we were talking about the little radio board in the back. Mm -hmm. If you actually mounted it in the back, you could actually also upgrade Update the, firmware the firmware of the radio of the board radio. when it's plugged in. Exactly. Wow. So okay. it's an all-in-one solution and, you know, let's keep it simple and let's keep it uh, accessible for everybody and that way the product will uh, be more um, more usable for the user because right. they, can, they can play with different firmwares if they like. Right. Well, that's very good. I appreciate your time. Gigaparts, as usual, have these if they're not sold out yet because this is a hot commodity here. Yeah. Rude, you're really not rude. You're not so rude after all. Well, that's a good uh, that's good news for me. Thank you for your time, my friend. <laughs> no problem. My pleasure.